And folks, we are back, 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 back. We took a week break or two week break? Two week break. We had Super Bowl, then we had Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day and President's Day, but you know, Valentine's Day was more important, let's be honest here. Yeah. Um, uh, President's Day is just that day off. No. Um, hey. <laughs> but real talk. Hey, no, we got to be honest, man. Like, keeping it a thousand percent real. Like, it just, it's just, it's that day off. Yeah, that's all it you is. You know. If, if Valentine's you know. Day was just a day off, that's what exactly what it would be, too. But <clears throat> I enjoyed the day off. I didn't barbecue. We didn't do anything crazy. But oh, you. But you know what? For me, it's already my day off. Kind of. I don't really. Oh need yeah. To See, that's that that's, that's kind of whack. Mm-hmm, it is. That, that's kind of whack. Mm-hmm, uh, like all your national holidays fall on your day off. Oh, like, my day just, off. My RDO. Like this is whack. Mm-hmm. But. But. But folks, this is episode seventy-seven of the Adventures of the Black Nerds. I am Baron J. Finishes games six seven. Ha. <laughs> Ha! Ha! No. You finish your story mode. That's it. And I am no, T. I'll Jones. No, I'll be game. <laughs> I'll be game. I I'm over proof. here sounding bitter. <laughs> yeah, you sound real. You sound like a real McHater. Mm-hmm. Um, hey, but it, it's all good, because let me just go ahead and put this in. You know, for 2021, that's one, two, three, four, five games. That's oh, five you got games, a list? Oh, oh, no. Yeah, I got, a, I got a list. No pad yeah, on my I'm a home nerd. screen. I keep a list. Yeah, I, I keep a full list. Um, I have uh, what's it called next? Um, uh, I have Final Fantasy 15 up here next, but I know that's a deep RPG, and I'm like, I know once I you dive might want to skip that, that one for now. For a while. Yeah, like I, I want to knock a couple other games down. Like I'm thinking about yeah. finishing Shadow of War and Shadow of Mordor yeah, you, first. You might want to wait. Then go on to Final Fantasy. Wait, wait until like May. <laughs> yeah. Last week in well, May. see. Well, that's that's the cool thing because I'm trying to burn through a lot of games before uh, Death Loop comes out. Because mm-hmm. I'm gonna be honest, this year um, Ooh, and when, we're jumping into a couple of the games. When's the due date? Though, I want to say Death Loop comes out in May. I, I oh, want to say is. it is May. Well, I don't um, know why I was thinking yeah, end of I the could. year. Me too. Oh, yeah. Which I could be wrong. Uh, let's see. Uh, Death Loop, May twenty first. Yeah. Oh well, no. You might no. You mm-hmm. see now. So then you're gonna have to push it back a good two months because you start that. You probably gonna want to beat it. Yeah. Um. But but it's made by Arcane, which is the same people who did Dishonored. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I think the game is gonna be around twenty hours max. It better be. Didn't yeah, uh, could, what's the name have something to do with that too? Um, Bethesda. Yeah, they're over Arcane Studios. Okay. Yeah, see, yeah, they're the publisher. See, so let me pay um, attention, y'all. Come y'all, on, man. Y'all gotta let um, me breathe. I'm telling man. you. Well, see, what's so crazy is before we get into Mortal Kombat, mm-hmm. um, I'll kind of give the folks an update of what I've been doing. So I've been taking this whole beating games all twenty twenty one to heart, as you heard. Yes, sir. Uh, I've beat. Five, five games or six? I'll be, I'll for sure five games. And One, to the, two, three, and to the four, like five. hardcore person, that is nothing. But you don't know, Baron. <laughs> Baron. Yeah, I don't, don't. I don't beat, beat games. Nothing. He just fishes. We make a joke out of it. He just fishes yeah. and collects shit. That's it. He don't. You know, completing the game isn't in his objective. It's literally having fun. The the true embodiment of having fun. Yeah. I really will play a game, spend hours playing it, and have no goal or like strive to finish it. Yeah, be- um, it, it is the most you, like, but you, you and, have, and get ranked up, get you know high what's level. Funny though, you would make the best grinder. Like if you were a part of like a streaming team, you would be the guy to grind. Like literally, you would be the guy. Like if you ever did like a a Professor Oak's challenge in a Pokemon game. Your Pokemon would be at a level one hundred before you got to gym number one. Like that's that's you. Well, also, um, I would I think I would do really good in an MMO. Mm-hmm. Um, I really really believe I would do damn good in an MMO. Um, my only issue is I don't like to play one game, um, and I think that's out of spite. I don't even think it's because like 
I just don't want to play one game. No, it's I think it's just me being stubborn. Like I I want to I want to not be this guy. Yeah, because I could do it. I mean, Warframe, I fished. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Blessed Unleash, uh, I would sit there and farm materials, and I was like getting commissions and making. But don't you? Money. I think you look like, at it as I, a waste, though, don't you? Like a, a big, hey, I, what up, kiddo? Oh yeah, what up, what up, kiddo? Hey, listen, I think you look at it as a waste. Like you, all right? I bought this system, and all I'm gonna do is play this one game, and I know there's a plethora of other games out there that I want to play. That that is that is ultimately what it always boils down to, and okay. why it's so quick for me to drop it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's funny enough when you roll it over to PC. Here it is. I got a better PC. But I think I still play games that I could have played on my older laptop. Like, I still play Starbound. Uh, only game I play now is M Mordow, yeah. which I figured out how to stream that bad boy. I put it on the lowest settings, and then I can stream it. Like, that's the only game I've played that, like, struggles my PC. And it's more of, like, just making sure I got a fluid stream yeah. with no bitrate drops. No drop. But if I max it out when battle gets hectic, like, when it's, like, 30 people in a small area, all of a sudden frames start bouncing. But... As soon as I crank it down the low, You're all good. good. Go. But yeah, what up, kiddo? Yeah, man. I think, um, it, I think kiddo, it's man. that. Uh, oh, my bad. Go ahead. What are you saying? No, with console, you're right. It's a thing of, it's, it's a thing of there's so many games out here. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why I don't have a hard time putting something down and moving on. Because it's like I want to experience something else. Yeah. I want to I wanna play it. I, um, like, you should see my Switch catalog and ask me how many of my Switch games I beat. Um, but um, it man, and then don't let a switch sale go by, like, then it's really an issue, yeah. Um, I just, um, I'm glad I've been beating games because, for one, I didn't realize I let me rephrase, I knew how bad my backlog was, I knew it, but now I'm like trying to strategically get through it, I'm trying to knock out a lot of my. 12 to 25 hour games mm -hmm. um um like one that almost clipped my wings was freaking the last of us 2 it overstayed its welcome um the game was not bad the ending only i in my opinion the ending was only bad because of how long it took to get to that point mm -hmm. hey tom what up oh tom what up man Family. um Hey, no, it's it's legit. It was seriously long winded. Um, it it would have been better as a either a two part game, or they would have had Abby be a DLC, or even make you be have you play as Abby the entire time. Mm -hmm. That would have it would have pissed a lot of people off. Um, but it would have been a dope story to tell. Yeah, like you're just Abby from the jump. You don't know what's going on. And if you've played the beginning of The Last of Us 2 or at least watched the first hour, you know what I'm talking about. You really don't understand what's happening. Yeah. Like in terms of when you when you become Abby, yeah. you don't really get what's going on. And then all of a sudden it gets to that point without trying to spoil the game, even though it's... Oh, this, it's kind of hard for you to explain without ruining the storyline for people. Yeah. Um, basically... I, I feel the, like you get more detail than that. Yeah, it, it is a lot more detail, but long story short, um, it's it's an old western. It's it's a western revenge story. That's mm -hmm. that's what the game is, but it's way too long winded, and it almost like I was hitting points where I was like, if it makes me backtrack, pass uh, back to this area, I'm quitting. Like I hit, I was dead serious. I was like, if this game makes me backtrack, I will quit right now. Y'all better believe it. And thank God it didn't. Every time, every time I said it. It didn't do it. I was I was ready. Like, I'm done. I'm over it. EJ. I don't want nothing to do with this damn game no more. Yeah, hey, I, because it was just, it was too far. And then you end up in Santa Monica. And it was like, why? And one thing I will say, though, it did make it look like Southern California. And it was really weird. Like, okay. and then, but then what, what, ver what verified my thoughts, though, about the entire game is my little brother came over and played it. Uh, now he don't come over no more because he beat it. But he came over all the time and was playing it, and he kept asking me. He was like, "Damn, how much more do I got? Like, wait, I got now. We in Southern California. Yeah. Now we in, and he was saying the same thing I was saying. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know what? I'm glad that I'm not crazy. I'm glad that I felt that somebody else felt the same way. Um, it overstayed its welcome. It would have been better as a two part game or like an amazing DLC type thing. Yeah. When and look, I'm not one to I'm not one to push DLC. That look, I am I hate that. But goddamn, they made a long winded ass game. Um, I feel like thank God feel, the combat that, was amazing. I feel like you feel that's the exact same way you felt about uh about uh Walking Dead. Yes. I, I, yes. The I first remember, season to this day is still the best season of Walking Dead. Mm-hmm. And that's how you felt about like, it. And because the way yeah. you're talking about it, the way you're talking about The Last of Us now was how you started to get to when The Walking Dead got to the point where you was like, oh, I'm good. I'm good. And, and, and ask me if I've watched it since. No, you haven't. I know I haven't. Mm-hmm. I, I think I've missed like four seasons. You probably missed like, yeah, four. I, spoiler alert, last thing I seen was Carl dying. Yeah, you miss a lot. A lot. Yeah. I've missed Alpha and Beta. Mm-hmm. I've missed uh the whisp well the whispers. I've missed a lot. Yeah. Um I haven't even seen the the utopia they try to create like after the whole war with Negan. I missed all that shit. Yeah. Why? Because I'm over it. Um and I and that it bothers some people. Cause I'm that way about a lot of shit. It bothered me. The gaming. Yeah, it bothered like, me I, because I, can, I was still I, watching I, it over, and over and it. I would come on here and try to talk to you about it. It was like I, I'm not watching it. <laughs> I'm not, I'll do anything but watch it. So I was like, okay, yeah, Bro, there's no point. But it's funny. And, I and, I got to that point too. It just it was long and drawn out, and um, I just felt like a lot of stuff was rushed. And then you, uh, then a lot of the news started coming out on it, and then it was like, ah, oh, man. I don't want to see it. And then they skewed away heavy from the source material. Yeah. Um. And but the part that got me the most, what really started like the downhill for me, is that whole season. They took forever to figure out if Glenn got eaten by the zombies or not. Um. Like that. That was a stretched out like two episode arc mm-hmm. that they turned into a whole season. Yeah. Remember when he was on top of the trash can and he fell. Um, oh, and yeah, they kind of yeah, yeah. panned out. There was a whole, there was a whole season around that. Mm-hmm. Um, but back to my journey, and then we can get to Mortal Kombat. So I've been beating games like crazy. I just finished Dishonored too. I think I beat that in like uh, uh, adult gaming week, which means a few days. But we all know, like a oh. couple hours a day. So I, I beat it in a reasonable time. Yeah. Um, I would give uh, they, that, that game a week is probably like three days, three, four days. Yeah, three, four days. Um, and then a one day of just me sitting there grinding my heart out like eight, nine hours. Mm-hmm. Um, but but I'll tell you this. the ga- That game was long-winded and it didn't have the spirit. It's funny. That game was half the time of The Last of Us, but I felt the long-windedness quicker. And, <coughs> Ooh, and excuse it... Me. I, it it, it was a it was a weird thing of it didn't have the spirit like Dishonored one was intense as hell. Mm-hmm. It was a special maybe it was because it was the first that felt like that. Um, like you you teleporting around, you assassinating people. Like it was like a first person Assassin's Creed, but way more visceral, way more intense, mm-hmm. way more detailed combat, different abilities, this that, and the third. And then this game. It felt like a drag, and t- like I didn't even care for the story. Put it this way, I didn't even have the option to do the um, to do the pacifist ending because I buy I skipped through the last level. When I say I skipped through it, I I could have been a speed runner. I didn't know I had the ability, and clearly I learned how to play the game because I was utilizing all my skills. I'm running past everybody. I'm literally running through an army of vampires. It was like our witches. It was like uh, like twenty of them and a couple robots. And I'm sliding through, turning into shadows, going through vents, running over the top of them, hiding on ceiling fans, dashing down, all getting to the elevator. Uh, as the elevator opened, I grabbed the damn dog skull and force grabbed it and tossed it behind me. Slid in the elevator, pressed the button, got to the last final boss by- battle. And that was it. And then when I got to her, yeah. And then when I got to her. I beat her ass, 
I laid traps down like crazy. And first she was beating me up like crazy because I didn't know what to do. And then I realized, I was like, oh, duh, the whole point was getting her spirit into the heart. And I'm ruining the whole game. Um, and I, I, I activate the heart. And we go into the, her little shadow realm. I beat her and her clone's ass. Um, I'm laying down spike traps and bombs and shooting darts at her and beat her ass and asked me what it was for. Just I got my done. kingdom back. Get it done. And mm-hmm. it, I was ultimately it just was to rough, get it done. man. It was it it was just to get it done. Um the look how you explain I'm, getting it done more than you explain the story though. You really yeah. you really yeah, explain like, oh yeah, I just laid traps, I squished the heart, and then yeah, she died. Whooped her ass, that was it. Like damn, whooped their ass. Can I get some context here? Like, <laughs> but I, I get it. Long I don't want you to short. ruin it. Don't ruin it oh, for okay. people because yeah. it it, it do make sense. But listening to you talk about it, this is how I expect you would explain it to me if we weren't sitting here recording because of yeah. I was just trying that, to get this shit done. Hey, and that's the that's the sad part because the first one was so special. Yeah, the first game was truly. Like, I remember when you first come against people who have similar powers to you. Mm-hmm. It was like some Jedi Dark Lord power battles. Yeah. Like, here it is. I'm teleporting over here. I swing. You disappear. You teleport behind me. And then, like, I throw a trap or I'm, like, casting some type of ability. And then we swing in swords. And, uh, like, it just, bro. It, and it, Or I might mess around and shoot you. Like, all of a sudden, you'll, you'll land. You're materialized. And I'm shooting my pistol. And then I'm swinging my, but that the battles were there, mm-hmm. but the feel in the combat was not the same. Yeah, like it, it just it didn't feel the same. Now maybe I was just in a different mind space. Nah, because everybody everybody who beat the game agreed with me. They were like, Nah, bro, it's something missing. Like it, it's yeah, like I don't care. That happens. I, I, you, you that tends yeah. to happen a lot when it comes to sequels. When it comes to sequels, it, it tends to happen a lot because they're trying to be innovative. They're trying to change something. They're trying to do something new. And I got the same feel. The only game, and I got to be honest, the only game I never got that feeling from was Uncharted. Yeah. That's the Uncharted only game. just progressively got better. And, for me. Exactly. Yeah. You know, but a lot of yeah. these games, they, they stray away from, they can't, you can't save everybody. So they stray away from, uh, Thank you. Uh, from trying to keep what the originality of the game to create to wanting to create something new, which would then bring in new fans and people like that. Whereas us old Much love, fans, kiddo. what happened? No, kiddo was just saying he was just stopping through. Oh, okay, yeah, man. Later, kiddo. Thanks for stopping by, bro. Much love, man. Really appreciate you, dude. But um, yeah, keep going. My bad. So I was saying that uh, uh, a lot of these developers and um. I would have, yeah, I would have to say developers get to this point where they want to do something new. They want to innovate. They want to make it bigger and better. And sometimes that's not the case. You know, I know a lot of people that didn't play God of War. Well, it's God of War, but God of War Four because it wasn't the original God of you War. You know what? They they took a big risk, and I I've I've argued about this quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, I get I get on that game's head because. Uh, for me, I felt like they they because the story was so good, they got to cut corners in terms of enemies, like yeah. the filler enemies. Um, and I was being nitpicky only because they took the whole open world route. Mm-hmm. But if we're being a hundred percent real, God of War, they rolled the they rolled they put everything on the line. You gotta think they went from a uh character action game. Um, to a third person over the shoulder. Mm-hmm. They went from they went from Devil May Cry to The Last of Us. Yeah, like and, that. That's it, that's basically but, what they did, and it plays well. Though. Keep going. It plays well. So God, so God of War itself plays amazing, and there's nobody that can I would say with a disagree. It's just that us fans of the God of War series looked at it as a. Uh, as something different, something new. And with it being that way, it kind of turned pe- a fan- people away from it. It didn't really turn me away from it because I truly did enjoy the game. Um, once I figured out that all of this extra stuff that's going on, I did not have to play through. Then it became like, all right, cool. That is that is dope to know. 
I don't have to do half the stuff that's in this game already. I can just play. And, and it, like I said, that's cool to know. But when you find out, like, the 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 Valkyries, when you know that you can go after the Valkyries in that game, and I'm sorry, I may be ruining it for somebody, but, I mean, that game's been out for a while now. Um, Three years that, now. Yeah, you, you would want to know, like, hey, that is, that's a part of the game. I want to go and have these battles. Unfortunately, they all were the same. They all, they were just different. It was all the same battle, just different lore to it. You know, each Valkyrie was different, you know, had a different lore to it, but the fight was the same. You killed them the same, you know, the, the headpiece you got damn near was the same. And that was the issue with it. Whereas when you look at the older God of Wars, it literally was, you know, you, you're fighting this dude. Extravagant and special. Exactly. When you took each, I look battle. back at God of War 3, and you look at all of the powers and all of the equipment you got as you played through that game, imagine that, and then imagine what you've played in God of War, let's just say God of War 4, because I still think the Hades battle was one of the dopest fights ever. I still think, matter of fact, that whole game, all of the bosses in that game was ridiculous. When you think Bro, about look at how you started God of War three, man, you started and that and that's the beauty of it. All of them always you always start off full power, full strength, big sword, all the power in the world, untouchable. And then something happens, you get stabbed with a big ass, with the sword of Olympus, you lose all your power, <laughs> or you know you, you get stripped of everything that you have and you got to reacquire everything to get back to that point to unlock like the Spartan you know, rage and all of that stuff. Like, that That was dope. I'm not saying God of War 4 was bad. I'm just saying that it, oh. it took a risk and a lot of people didn't didn't like it. Whereas I look at it as, it was cool. I like I didn't like it. Just comparing it to God of War 3, it, it's, it's not on its level. Because it was something new oh. every time. And that's where the game fell short for me and people get real mad when I say it. Like, it's funny. I was arguing with Dallas over at Level 1 Gaming. I was arguing with him about it. Shout out to Dallas. And I was, yeah, much love, man. Um, I was telling him, I was like, look, bro, the game, you can't tell me that the game didn't feel like a big-ass filler with, like, it, it, I feel like the open world part of the game took away from it. It did. And then I was like, think about every filler battle, the trolls and the Valkyries. And it, every time I bring up the Valkyries, everybody get mad. I'm like, it was the same shit. Yeah, it was the same fight over and it over again. It was the same. And just remember, you didn't have to fight the Valkyries. You could have beat that story without Thank even you. looking at them. So people need to realize that that, that was a big portion of the of of the game. Those people like, that talk about how hype it was. Yeah. yeah so you can't really, uh, for me, like when you, even when you think about the big the big battles, I think you were carried through a, a majority of it. And I and I think that has a lot to do with the whole, like, think about it. They had a lot to do with you raising your son. Because Kratos was Kratos. Like, I feel like if you just played as his son, you didn't have to control Kratos. Kratos was going to win everything. Nobody in that in that realm or that world was on his level, right? And like even the the I won't go too much deeper, but nobody was on his level. And if you as the player made mistakes, that's how he died. That's how you died. But outside of that, yeah. it's you raising your son and you're going through this journey with your son. And it it just took away from what we've known as a it wasn't as thorough and straightforward with a lot of the stuff. You know, I'm I can it, if you've it ever made played, him human. I'm sorry. It made him human. Yeah, it did. It did. It it, it turned him. Which, in... Let me let me tell you this because I think I've said this a few times, um, probably even a few times live or it's recorded somewhere. Mm -hmm. God of War to me, I had more fun watching my brother play it than me playing it. Is this not that all I didn't have or fun playing it? Oh, um, oh, the new one. Oh, okay. the new one. Yeah. Um, I'm not I'm not much of a character action game guy. Like mm -hmm. I've never really liked uh uh I've never been big on Devil May Cry, Near Automata, um 
God of War. Nothing against them. Yeah. It's just in my in my eyes, and it's disrespectful, but I'm gonna say it. They're just like hyperactive platformers. Mm-hmm. Um, like that's well, that's what they that are. that's how it, that's what they are. Now it's disrespectful as hell because no, I'm it's not. like boiling it down to nothing. Yes, it is. Because you know these games really mean a lot to people, and I'm over here just crapping on yeah, them like you but know, once, all it is is a platform or whatever. Hey, but, but hear me out. A lot of these games, because I get what you're saying. I grew up watching my my brothers play Resident Evil. You know, I love Resident Evil, and Resident Evil has a nice size fan base. So you tell me, oh yeah, I had more fun. I I enjoyed watching Resident Evil Two more than I played it. You know how many people that would piss off? Some people regard, regard that as the pinnacle of Resident Evil. Yeah, Resident of, Evil. And I never, I didn't beat Resident Evil 2 until PlayStation 3. The end of PlayStation. Oh, I got you. So, it, I had to go back to play that when there's already guides and YouTube videos and all types of stuff. So, that that would irritate people. But you you, you still have to understand that there, that is a that is a thing. People do watch video games being played now we all, it, I'm pretty sure a lot of us can remember only one player games and taking chances and somebody in the house was that good. Yep. <laughs> so, bro, bro, it, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy to think like, um, when, when I look at a lot of these different games mm-hmm. and going back to going back to, uh, God of War, I'm glad they took the risk. I'm glad they did that because it um, you pivoted in a way to where you can now run with it. Mm-hmm. It can only go up from here. Yeah. Hopefully they listen to the criticism. And then also we, I understand and I believe Dallas brought this point up that they made a lot of technical choices and they had to cut back. Cause remember they literally had to just stop development. Like they had to just stop the game. They're like, we got to finish. We got to get something out when it came to that game. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! Dylan, see it? Oh, see, we was just talking about that. <laughs> what up, Dylan? Um, what up, man? Uh, but no, dude, it, it's it's so crazy. I'm glad they took that chance. I'm not. I'm crapping on the game because of the enemies, um, because of the fact that they even cheaply did the color scheme thing. Like, here's the enemy, but they're green, which means this hurts them. Uh, here's this enemy, and they're they're blue, which means you can't use your ice axe. You got to use the fire. Uh, you got to use the blades of uh, chaos, or what do they call uh, blades of chaos? Yeah, but uh, remember that wasn't you. Didn't really get that off the rip. You got the axe. No, no, no. I'm talking about in terms of like that's literally how the game. Like it felt like I was playing an old school game. Like oh, this the color of the enemy is this, so use this. Like oh, the color yeah, of the yeah, enemy yeah, is yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. music. That's no, what I'm what talking about. Like it felt I forget the name of the game, but yeah, I, I get what you're saying. And yes, yeah. you're you're um, right. It was like that. Because they, they added an element, they added different elements, they added cryo into it. You know, they, they had they yeah. added in slowing of enemies and you know, they had different they had trash mob you went from having understanding the difference between a boss and trash mob to Having to okay, well, you know, his this dude has a health bar at the bottom, so now we know he's a uh, like it's just it was it was too much, and once again, you I am not upset at the game, and I don't think you're trashing oh. it. I think you're pointing something out no. that was in it because the game still played well. The story behind the game was still well. It just when you think of the pinnacle of God of War, it is not God of War four or God of War. It is God of War 3. I would assume a lot of people would agree God of War 3 is the pinnacle of the franchise. Then I would say 2, probably 4, then 1. Hey, you know what's funny? We're, we're almost halfway through this podcast and we didn't talk about shit in the damn... Well, we night. still got... Uh, I was just about to say, we can transition into Outriders from here. Yeah, because let's, let's bounce to Outriders. It would make sense to transition okay. to this. Okay, so for Outriders, folks, Outriders is the new um, looter shooter that's coming out, um, and they're actually getting ready to come out with a uh, with a beta for it, right? 
There's a beta, um, and I don't remember exactly what day the beta is going live. Huh. I want to say it's next week or this weekend. Let's see. It actually might be this weekend. Uh, I, um, I don't want to get it wrong. I'm on demo. There. Oh, it's not a beta. A demo. Oh, see, okay. we need more demos. I like that word. Demo is this uh, this Friday. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, this Thursday, uh, the 25th. It may so, not be trash either. Well, I'm going to tell you this. Looking at the game and watching gameplay, which you guys can find on YouTube, the game reminds me very much of The Division. Mm-hmm. I know you guys thought I was going to say another word, but ah! it's the division. It, it like, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, but no, real talk. It is very much, uh, it looks like the division. I believe it's going to be parties of three. Um, I yeah. don't know if they're going to do parties of four or, um, I wonder. Hmm. Okay. So the reason I stopped playing the division. Because look, before we get heavy in Outriders, uh, because I we used to play the hell out of the division. Mm-hmm. I fell off when they changed the currency mm-hmm. and the farm rate. Mm-hmm. We used to be able to play the little amount we did, which was maybe about a good ten hours a week. Like we were like that two hours every other night. Like we we used to play. It would be, it was a group of us: me, you, Anthony. Um, we used to really play the division like yeah. heavy. Mm-hmm. Um, but then they changed the farm rate and they made it more, they made it harder because there was a lot of people, uh, they listened to their, uh, what are they, their sweaties instead of paying attention to the whole, you listen to your sweaties and then you ruined it for everybody else. Yeah. Because now it turned into a game where if you didn't put in more than 10 hours or you missed an event or you missed uh whatever, yeah, you, you weren't going to be able to keep it. Yeah. Yeah, you weren't going to keep up. You no. were going to go to the dark zone and get murdered. Mm-hmm. So I wonder how Outriders is going to balance this because first we also got to acknowledge uh, who's making it. This is Square Enix. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be honest. I can't think of any Square Enix shooters. Uh, um, I could be wrong. They have a, if you go to their website, they have a list of their games. Um, You got Final Fantasy, The Avengers, and Dragon Quest. L- um, listen to their shooter games. Killing Floor, Left Alive, which was that, um, I think that was that like Metal Gear Solid looking game. Okay. Uh, Qual- Call of Juarez, Gunslinger, and Metro Exodus. Just ca- They did Just Cause but 4? That were... I-, I think did they, they did Just Cause 4 as well. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Final Fantasies, of course. Marvel's Avengers, uh, Kingdom Hearts, Nier Automata, or the Nier series, Tomb Raider, Dragon Quest, Final Fantasy, of course, Life is Strange, Just Cause, Deus Ex. Mm-hmm. Okay, so shooter-wise, they got um, all of the Square Enix on Deep Silver. Am I learning something here? That's, that's, ooh. Wait. Okay, this... so Deep Silver owns a lot. Okay. Deep Silver, like any of the smaller games... Ah, that makes sense. That's that's why they got dying light. Oh, so they're but let's it's safe to say that they're not re- they're not their main focus isn't shooters. No, shooters are not. I would when I think Square Enix, I do not go to shooters, of course. Like the fact that I had to dig into their website to even find out what's what. Mm-hmm. Now, does that mean a company can't make shooters? No, no that's not mean that's that. not the case mm-hmm. because uh, because we look at uh, who went who went to shooters. Who was it? Um, God. Um, whatever. There, There's a company out there and it's killing me. They went from one genre to shooters and it worked out really well. Yeah. Um, and there's, there, we just got done talking about trying new things. There's nothing wrong with that. I just think that. Yes. I don't want to find, I don't want to prod at this. And I know I can. Right. We've seen this before. So you just talked about the change in economy. There's going to be a change of economy in this game. I will bet on it. And I hope I'm wrong. I say this all the time. But Me there's too. going to be a change of economy. We've seen all of the top looter shooter games that have been out for the past six, seven years, do a cha- or I think it's six to five to six years, have some type of economy change. If not one, at least two. 
And it naturally happens because you're, they put out a game expecting one thing and their expectations get blown to shit when they find out. And that then the, the community co- comes along farms. Mm-hmm. And they, they, the community figures out things. They find glitches. They find hacks. They find different stuff that breaks your game. And, and let's be honest, I don't think none of these developers are looking like we want our game purposely broken. So, you know, you, you just don't want to make the mistake that the dead game made. You know, the, the Man, game. some games don't bounce back once they get broke. No, no. And it, it's... Oh. And, it just, it's not worth it. And it, I, I can't even remember the dead game name. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Just say, yeah, yeah. Um, hey, hey, no. I just don't, so it's, and that's my point. That's my whole point to it. So, and then another point to that, uh, another point to add on to that is the fact that th- starting off, they're making um, a big mistake. I tell if one of you community you managers, huh? You get to say it one time. Oh no, no, no! I'm not gonna even say it. I'm not gonna even say it. I'm just saying, if one of you community we'll call it managers, a space opera. <laughs> no, 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 no. If one of you community managers is listening to this, I'm, I may, I may not be nobody, but if you don't market your game for your own community, not for anybody else's community. It will not last. Mark my words. Because, yeah, because if it, you, you're going to fall on your face every time, mm-hmm. um, because you're going to fall short in some way. For the, but let me tell. Ah, right, let's speak on the positives. Yeah, let's speak on the positives. Let's say they piggyback off of what uh, the Division Two is doing right. Mm-hmm. Which the Division Two is winning because they're continuing to put money into it. Yeah. Let's be real. They're coming out with free DLC. Mm-hmm. They're coming out. Hey, what up, Brian? Um, they're coming out with oh, uh, Mac delay, here. but we here. Yeah. Um, they coming out with uh free DLC. Mm-hmm. They're coming out with uh, the quote unquote farm never ending cycle things to do. The yeah. tower. Uh, t- uh, la- I forgot what it was called. Where it's basically like just uh, I don't know if it was tower defense or whatever, but you'd be fighting up the ladder just. More and more horde horde mode. Yeah, like yeah. they're coming out with different stuff to keep people. Um... Oh, got you. Oh, for sure. Drop uh, drop the link, Juan. Um, and we'll make sure to check that out, or even message us. It don't matter. We got you. Um, but like you, it's so crazy. Just piggyback off of the positives, but let me tell you the biggest thing that Outriders has right now, mm-hmm. above every other game that's out there, mm-hmm. day one. Mm-hmm. Cross play, mm. cross play day one. I, you, you don't hey, get a pa- up, Feli? You don't get a pass for not having it in this time of era. In this time, there's no pass. You get no pass. No pass. Well, let me let me tell you this, because all the other games that don't have it, which there's some big name games we know that don't have cross play mm-hmm. active. Mm-hmm. You have cross save, but you don't have cross play. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you we're acting like we're under embargo or something yeah um, like we don't want to say too like, much but we just we told much, ourselves we're happened, not bro. gonna say the one game like we're just not gonna talk about this game and it would be a good comparison to outriders but it doesn't make any sense to talk about them because we always talk about them like let's just we let's, always do let's give it a break for that yeah, to the point I thought I was a podcast for them. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, he, he called it, and I said, that's not happening, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'm hey, not no, Juan. doing it. Hey, no, Juan, we're going to get into that. We kind of skipped over it for now. We're talking about games, but we're going to wrap up talking about the Mortal Kombat trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But with but with Outriders, man, um, a lot of these other established games get away with it due to the fact that they just already have established fan bases and their big-name titles. Mm-hmm. Um, and this you know, is they come from big companies, but Outriders is being marketed as a big name title, title too. And the, they're actually putting, the, they've they've given you gameplay. They've given gameplay from seven months ago. They've given you yep. different multiple trailers, a demo. They they're giving they're about to give you a demo. The game don't come out till April. They're giving you a demo. You said this Friday it comes out, and they're also giving yep. Thursday. This Thursday. And they also giving you, they gave you character breakdown, so you can look at all of that. And if you say mm, that's not for me, then cool. But a lot of people are looking yep. at it like, oh, look, look at all of this information what we have, and 
They're, you're telling me that this isn't even the, this isn't even two percent of your game or even one percent of your game. Well, yeah, I'm, this ain't I'm the really day one intrigued. patch version. Exactly. So I'm intrigued by the game and I'm excited for it because um, of what it's what they're marketing to a person in like who likes looter shooter games uh, and everything that they're showing that they that they're gonna have. They're gonna have different. Um, what do you call it? Like abilities, different uh-huh. um, elements to the game. You know, freeze, burn, all of that. So I'm I'm excited for that part about it. I just I'm just not excited. I don't think I'm ever gonna be excited. And I think uh, it, because when you look at games that came out this year, like Cyberpunk, we won't go too much into it. That you know. Huge disappointment, and I don't want to be disappointed. I just don't. You know, you know what's funny. I'm I'm gonna tell you why I'm not gonna be disappointed with this game. For let me ref, let me let me rephrase mm-hmm. why I why I think I won't be disappointed because of course we could turn it on and it don't even work. Like it, there's so many things that can happen in between. You know, like it could go bad. It can be rushed. Um, yeah, we got you. Or we can get in the game and it just don't feel good. Yeah. Like some games just don't feel good, mm-hmm. and that's almost what happened with uh, with Dishonored too. Mm-hmm. It took me a while to thug through it because at first the game did not feel good. Like I was like, I was asking myself, do I know how to play video games? I was like, come on, I'm not that bad. <laughs> I'm not that bad. Like yeah. I, I'm not that bad. Mm-hmm. Like that's that's how I started feeling. Like bro, I died like ten times. In the first like hour, yeah, like I was like, this ain't Dark Souls. Like, what what the hell's going on here? Um, but going back to Outriders, now I like the fact that the gameplay they're showing us is clearly in game gameplay. It's not over uh, dramatized. It's not um, super hyper graphics mode. It's clearly not just a slice. It's a slice of just overall gameplay, but not just a perfectly made slice. Like, let's make this moment for the commercial. When you look at the stills, the stills for the game look plausible. It's not hyper detailed, like, oh, my God, look at the God rays. It, it's it, none of that. This looks like in-game, highly possible stuff. Like, I look at this, and I don't look, I don't see... You know how when you watch a lot of trailers, especially now as an adult, because as a kid they used to get us, but now as somebody who pays attention to this stuff, yeah, man, the game ain't gonna look like that. Mm-hmm. The game ain't gonna look like that. Like, but like, hey, uh, hey now, listen. Does th- oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. But for me, I'm not a graphics junkie, so that's not a driving. That's not a like a major point for me. Like. Outside of the major glitches, I enjoyed Cyberpunk for what I did play, mm-hmm. but I knew what I was getting into. Yeah. I was getting into Deus Ex mixed with uh, CD Projekt Red storytelling. But you did. Love I knew what Deus I was going to get, and I loved CD Projekt Red storytelling. Yeah. So I knew I knew what I was getting into, and if it was that at the bare minimum, I was going to be happy, and that's what it was. Yeah. Um, was it a lot more hollow than they promised? Of course, but we're not going to go deep into that. So go ahead. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually done with it. To be honest, I just don't want, I'm tired of saying the same thing. Like, Hey, listen, I want you to succeed. I want you to win. I'm truly looking to, I'm looking forward to enjoying your game, but don't make the mistakes that we've seen these other companies come in and do, you know, uh, we've seen a lot of companies come in and try to market to a specific game group of people. No, generate your own community. You know, let these people come in and, and test your game out and enjoy it. Because if, if it's good, people are going to play it. I'm going to play it. You know, you won't get a complaint a complaint out of me. But the issue is once you start making, you, you start bringing people in and calling them ambassadors of your game, and which they have done. Um, it's kind of like, mm, okay, man, like you, you didn't, you didn't That's go. That's funny. Look. I didn't. Oh, go ahead. I didn't about- apply for it. Yeah. I was gonna say I, I think that was the one thing I didn't apply for, and it was only because I thought I missed the window. Yeah, but no, I you applied. they were you could have applied. Not only did you did did you have to you could have went and applied, but they went out and purposely went and searched for people, and and they found people and they offered it to them, and some people took it, and that's how they came out when when the when they actually dropped the gameplay trailers a couple months ago. These people came out and they said, "Oh yeah, I'm an ambassador," and I'm like, "An ambassador? What?" And 
they knew what they were doing, and I I get it. But I'm telling you, I you know what? I hope it worked. I hope it worked. Me too, I, man. I sound like a Debbie Downer, but I hope it worked. It's just you don't want to make the mistake, man. And especially when you make a good game. If you make a good game and everything you're offering in the game works, it works. That's it. There's no complaints there. You know, other little hiccups and glitches and stuff like that. Anybody, everybody's gonna complain about those. But if they're minor, you have nothing to worry about. Like, check this. Like, what got me, what what gets me about it is from what, and I've seen a couple of pictures of the skill trees. Mm -hmm. Is um, they classify it as a true genre, uh, genre, genre hybrid. (laughs) Outriders combines brutal, bloody combat with deep role playing systems, Mm -hmm. including a sprawling skill tree and endless gear modifications. Oh, you know what, Juan? We haven't gotten to the breakdown yet. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, that, that's actually next. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about that. We're going to end with that. Um, I am... I'm excited for that. For that... Um, and then I'm excited that they're doing a demo that you don't have to spend any money to enjoy. Mm-hmm. That means they have a lot of faith in their game. Or... Or... they just letting the community... Letting the world decide. Yeah, that's all I And want. there's nothing wrong with that. No. There's nothing wrong... Folks, take a clue. Let the world decide. You sometimes you don't even got to say too much. Like I, I hate. Um, I actually get really nervous when games market for a wide audience. The moment a game markets for a very wide audience, and it's not a Call of Duty, um, and it's not a Two K or Madden, or or sports game, Call, Call of Duty or a sports game, or a family friendly like Mario game. When they try to market to everybody, I get immediately nervous, and I think it's going to suck. Mm-hmm. And the proof is Fallout 4. Because Fallout 4, even though the game did not suck, it just, in my opinion, was not a good Fallout game. Yeah. For the reason why, for, for the simple fact that they tried to really market to everybody. When I started seeing commercials during, like, uh, was it Super Bowl? Yeah. No, it wasn't Super Bowl. That it was on TV. Like when I'm just watching what regular was it, television. Was it the finals? I want to say it was finals. the NBA there finals. Yeah. Yes, because the game came out 11-10-2015. Mm-hmm. So yep, that's right around. Yep. So, uh, or not? No, because finals. Uh, the finals. Was no, because basketball June. played. June. Yeah. So no, it's not wasn't finals. When did they Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It was finals because uh it came out during E uh, E three. Yeah. They announced it during E three. Yeah. And then yeah, yeah. So um but my my point is whenever they and we can go down the list, anytime a game is mass marketed, and I'm talking about where your mama is seeing the trailer, the game usually is not like for the core community. Yeah. Um, you can go down the and list. It's like so weird. We can go down the yeah. yeah. And what's so weird about it is the gaming community at its base, at its core, is big enough now to carry it. Like, it, even if you did not reach any outliers or any, like, just core gamers, I'm talking about people who buy one to two games a month, core gamers. We're, there's enough of us out here where we could carry the industry. Yeah. Now, are you going to be making billions? No, your 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 the real money comes in from the regulars who buy the game and then don't want to really play and they go and buy uh, DLC and coins and yeah uh, microtransactions. You know that's where a majority of their money come from. But the problem is when you cater to them, you lose out on us. Yeah, your hardcore um, fan base. It, it's I think it's, that, it's a weird it's a weird game. I I think that nobody has found that balance yet. So it's still on the table to be made. No one has found that balance yet. So um, I'm rooting for Outriders. I'm going to get it. Um, I just hope I'm able to get it um, day one. And I don't have to second guess if I'm going to get it or not. So we'll see. And then I'm excited because it's cross-play. So I don't even care what system I get it on. You don't like, have to. I'm going to just buy it wherever. Wherever yeah, the hell is that? I'm buy it wherever it's cheaper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I got a funny feeling on the Xbox uh, One or the PS4, it's going to be cheaper. And I'm going to run it on that. And that's that. Like, um, so moving on. Mortal Last Kombat. topic. Why is Scorpion always the coolest character? Because Scorpion is a boss, son. He's a boss. Bro. 
Bro, it now I'm confused. Uh, are they going to be telling the story through a random character's eyes? Ah, uh, that's what it kind of seemed like. Who's the dude in the MMA cage? I, you know what? I don't know. See, I had to bring it up because when I watched it, I had to watch it in like slow mo at one point to get like all of the 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 super minute details towards it. And to be honest, I think that uh, I don't think it's going to be told. Hi, file is simple. Oh, my bad. I brought the video back up, but I don't think it's going to be told through. I think they're going to, they're obviously showing it as, you know, multiple realms, fighting tournament, blah, 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 blah. We don't know, like, if there's, like, a, like, what the true bad guy is, because you, you can't really call Shao Kahn a bad guy if this is, like, a, a legendary tournament that happens, you know, it happens. You just, you know, yeah. and, unless they do bring in the element of, like, hey, we, we're coming to take over... Earth realm, you know, yada yada yada. Yeah, we so. want everything. We want it all. Yeah. And then we finally get a legit Goro. Um <sighs> And he looked good. Did he look good? He looked Gor Goro look good. I was it like, looked, look at look at my boy. Man, look looked, what they did to my boy. It looked good. And, and what, um What made it look doper was the fact that they're keeping to the like the super gore roots of it. Like when he, when he, and when, the magic and the mysticism, mm -hmm. like, and they I'm still happy kept they're all going that. deep into that. I'm happy they're going because first off, I'm gonna be real with you. A lot of people get on the get on the original movies. I like the first one. First one was one of the best movies. First off, the Scorpion and Johnny Cage fight was a one. Was dope. Mm -hmm. Not only not only for its time frame, but how much they stuck to the game world designs, mm -hmm. like in the woods with the thin trees. And then going to the place with all the bones at the bottom, the spikes, like they literally recreated two Mortal Kombat levels that they fought at yeah. in that one area. I think they had, but you see, super super Mortal Kombat fans are a fan of the, of the are a fan of that movie, right? Because you're a super Mortal Kombat fan. I believe that wholeheartedly. When you look at like. As you get older, now you're looking at these. Oh, the graphics is corny. The way the CGI is trash. Like, yeah, it wasn't too bad. You know, back then. you know, people. But people are sticklers about it. People are sticklers about it. Did I see Baraka? I don't think I seen Baraka in the trailer. I didn't see Baraka in the trailer. I got it playing as we speak. But I remember. Um, I did remember what the question I had was. I'm like, man, like Kano's been a bad guy for so long. And he looks like a good guy. And he looks like he's a part of like the the team now. He's part of the squad. So yep. um, that was a question. That was something that I was intrigued by. Was was Kano and how Kano's character gonna be? I think the Australian super funny guy never takes anything serious is dope. You see Melina. You see yeah, Melina? she looks dope, man. But see now that means you gotta make uh you gotta make what's her name a black woman, Jade. Yeah, you gotta make Jade a you gotta make Jade a not Jade, um um Katana? It's Jade Jade Molina's yeah, Katana. You gotta make Katana oh, a yeah. black woman. Katana. There. Katana. Cause Molina is a genetic twin yeah. of, of Katana. Katana. Yeah. But she um but that's the games though. It it look Sindel, we, we I I would Yeah. Look, Sindel they mama. This, this is what I'm saying. You got, <laughs> ah. on, it's going to be dope, man. I'm excited and, for it. I'm super juiced, and I, a lot of it is because I'm a Mortal Kombat fan. So, um, like, as at this point, like, it's going to be, like, Grammy. It should be Grammy nominated. Like, like that's how mm. far ahead I'm into it, you know. But also, they made my character dope. They made Scorpion dope, man. Even the get over here moment was fire. Like... You're not going to tell me anything. And it, and it doesn't come out. It, it comes out in April, which is around the corner. I might risk I'm it. I'm so happy they didn't. See, this is. I'm going to be real with you. I, I brought up uh, I brought up Fallout 4. Um, the, one po the one major positive from Fallout 4 was they announced the game. And then three to four months later, the game came out. Came out. I, I was hoping that everybody and their mama would take that from now on. I, you, but were you? I wasn't expecting this. I knew nothing about Bro, this, the Mortal no, Kombat movie. I knew that 
um, I've seen the emblem. The emblem's been start, but you know, this, you know, this is what we freaking do. Yeah, the emblem's been circling for a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, and people have been talking about it, just like they were talking about the Godzilla versus uh, Kong, and yeah, there was I've a couple that. movies that they've been talking about for a while. Mm-hmm. Godzilla versus Kong comes out next month, right? I believe so. Yeah, they've been they've been these things have been like circling, like in talks for a while. Yeah. Um. But um. Yeah, March thirty first. Um, and so, Mar- March thirty first. Yep. See, it's gonna be, bro. It's gonna be dope, bro. Listen, um, some some people think S- Smoke is gonna be in the movie too. I hope all the characters are in it, all of them. I and then, but but what what's sad is my second favorite character, Aaron Black. I'm not expecting him to be in this one. So they no. better come out with even though two. he could be. They they better come out. So with they're it. saying that. They're saying that the new guy that we saw who was in the MMA, uh, his name is Cole Young. He's never been in the games, uh, but he's a mis- the M- mysterious MMA fighter. Mm-hmm. Um, let me see. What are they saying? Liu Kang has sort of lost his league. Yeah, that's what's weird. Liu Kang is not the main character. Yeah. Or at least not from the trailers. Like, Liu Kang, seemed, I feel like Liu Kang's going to die like he did in, uh, not, was it Annihilation? When Sanok uh, and I think it was all of them jumped him on Xbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they jumped him when I, he was at the temple. Mm-hmm. Uh, man, they whooped his. I ass. think I did see. It smoke took them. all three of the big bads. Yeah, yeah. Smoke. Uh, they said smoke popped up at the end. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm. I don't know, man. Um, I hope they don't kill. I think they're gonna kill Liu Kang, bro. He. It, it happens. If you play the game, it happens. But he's never yeah. actually dead. Like, yeah, he ain't gonna yeah. be back. Right. Like, that's hey, but that's but they, that's what irritates me sometimes of being an adult. Like, you, you know, you you don't need wishful thinking anymore. You just oh, it's gonna happen. You know, go contracts. Read a book. We go yeah. check. You go know, read a, go read it. Yeah. Oh, bro, the magic is gone. <laughs> magic like, is gone. I, I do, bro. Like, could you imagine being a kid during uh during um uh, Infinity War Part Two? Oh, I. I said this to my son. The way my son watches Spider Man, and how it, how super hyped he get on specific parts of the movie, it make it, it make me all warm inside. My son, he be like, "Yeah, I'm a superhero," and it make me happy t- to see that. I be wanting to cry. I be like, "Oh, look at him! Look at him! He only doing the Spider Man stance. <laughs> he jumping off my couches. I will be getting hyped." But then I'd be like, oh, yeah, well, you know, you know, it's like four of them. Of, like, we don't even know if he's going to be around here forever because Fox and this, that. And the t- I got to get super like into all of the, the extra stuff that I wish I didn't have to get into. But yeah, um, I'm, I'm excited for uh, for this Mortal Kombat because we get to see one in this area era of CGI and, you know, and then, and then you got. You got to think about the, the the people who are fighting in this movie. Mm-hmm. You got people who fought people from uh, what is that damn uh, the raid. You got people from on not on back, but you this is post on back kung fu movie. Yeah, on back once that shit came out, man, that completely revamped and created a whole new modern TV kung fu. Yeah, it was martial arts, TV martial arts. I keep calling it kung fu because it's not all kung fu. But uh, martial arts movies took a major change. It became more gritty, a lot more visceral, like smashing in faces. And if you've seen The Raid, if you've seen On Back, if you've seen any of these movies, you know exactly what I'm talking about. A lot of knees, a lot of elbows, a lot of close quarter, random major dodging and weaving. And it, it, The fighting in this is going to be dope. And they got a lot of good martial arts people mm-hmm. in this movie. You know um, what I just I'm th- excited to see what that is going to do. You know what I just thought about like the whole uh like multiverse thing because when I forget what game it was, it was uh it wasn't Shinnok, it was Ermac. Ermac in mm-hmm. one of the games is who took Jax's arms. Ah, uh, okay. It was Ermac. And to see that it's not Ermac, we clearly seen it wasn't Ermac that did it. So, do you think they show 
much in the trailer? Huh? Do you think they showed too much in the trailer? Uh okay, so based off of how you you I normally talk about trailers, I would say yes. But me being a super Mortal Kombat stand is like it got me hyped. Yeah, it got me hyped and it just you know that's just a taste. We're gonna get more. It's gonna be like three, four hours worth of fight, and I'm cool with that. But man, if they make this movie three hours, I wouldn't even be mad. I wouldn't even I'm I might go to the theaters, bro. I'm not. I might risk it. You might risk it. You might risk it. <laughs> I might you know, risk it. I might hey, risk I'm it. Gonna I'm going to tell you this. Seeing Godzilla in theaters, bro, I felt like a little kid, dude. I was up in there jaw dropped. Just. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's crazy, huh? Like. It's crazy. I, I kept tapping my wife like, that's <laughs> That's a baby mama. Yeah. Godzilla's kind of a woman. But we ain't going to talk about that. We ain't going to have that conversation. Yeah, like, it it just, man, dude, some movies really need to be enjoyed in theaters. Mm -hmm. Um, And I want theaters to live, uh, you know, um, as much as I like, you know me, as much as I don't, like, I strive to not leave my facility. Yeah. Um. If if I can't go I, to the theaters, I'm gonna make it as theater like as I'm full blast. Like, don't talk to me. Yeah, we get the sound bar. Exactly. Like, don't talk to me. I I'm might a make it. Machine. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have my kids dress up with like a little attendance with flashlights and walk me to my seat. <laughs> like I I'm, just I'm going might. all out. They're gonna get my snacks. Yeah. Like yeah. So I just might though, but yeah, it, so far so good. I, I can't wait for it to come out. Um... I can't wait to see. Well, because obviously you know they're gonna have to develop Liu Kang. Like they're they're gonna have to. Um, I'm waiting to see what that's like. I'm waiting to see if they do bring any of the cyborgs in there. We didn't see any of those. Like I would love to see them bring uh, them in there. Uh, somebody said they brought. Uh, you know, I'm to see the full reign of Scorpion and Sub Zero's uh, fighting uh, power and, or style, whatever you wanna call it. I'm super excited for that. I'll you they they know you know he's they're gonna have to do the teleport. They're gonna have to do the scorpion oh, yeah. teleport. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be oh, so yeah. upset if they don't. And I'm like I'm like the super uh scorpion fan. Like Scorpion and Noob Cybot was just my and my characters right there. So uh yeah, man, Folks, I'm 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 excited okay. for it. So y'all know how serious we are about Mortal Kombat. We drove all the way to Arizona mm. for a Mortal Kombat tournament the weekend before my wedding. Yep. I think it was the weekend before my wedding with a with a busted radiator. Um, one of the dopest like days. We, that was one of the coolest fucking trips mm-hmm. ever. Um, it was a turnaround trip. We didn't even stay. We didn't even stay. We Your boys won we literally went to the tournament. <laughs> yeah, man. I lost to the guy who won the tournament, so I don't feel bad. Yeah, I lost to um, the, I lost to the the third runner up. Dude, they got third place. No, remember that kid who could have won it all, but he switched characters. Mm-hmm. He should have kept uh. Poor kid. Scorpion. Kodo Khan. Everybody was using Scorpion. Nah, no, dude, he was using Scorpion. The little boy was using Kodo Khan. And then he switched to Scorpion. And then he switched to Scorpion and then lost. Because and then the other dude was using Sub Zero. And that's I think was it Sub Zero that won? I think it was Sub Zero. Sub Zero won. Was a dude that all I know is that won. is I watched, I watched uh, Scorpion's uh, Fatality at least twenty times that night. Yeah, you seen it for me? Um, I'm shit. I hey. didn't know I was in there scorpioned up, man. <laughs> I, I Bro, did. We, I enjoyed that day. I enjoyed that day a lot. Remember the dude who won was wearing the Mortal Kombat Air Forces. Mm-hmm. The he Mortal had the Kombat hat. New Era hat. A <laughs> t-shirt. And I should have known. The dude was playing me out. He was letting me act like I could compete. And I was having fun. Because you know I me, mean? I'm just having fun. I really had no anticipation of winning. My fear was getting far on accident and then getting like getting get and on. And then they realized, yeah, or they realized he's button mashing. <laughs> like, oh, like, oh. But, but the dude played me, and then ended up like just clean sweeping me, like mm-hmm. juggled me and all type of shit, and boom, sent me home. Like, all right, man, well, good game, bro. And I was like, thanks. Then I looked at him, and I was like, wait a minute, 
Mortal Kombat shoes, <laughs> Mortal Kombat t-shirt, New Era Special Edition Mortal Kombat hat. I quit. And then he was like, yeah, there's only, I've never played any other game besides Mortal Kombat. It's the only reason I, I was like, what? Like, out of all these games on Earth? He was like, yeah, I don't, this is I don't it? play nothing. <laughs> That's all I play is Mortal Kombat. I was like, oh my God. Mm. But, folks, we hit that moment. We're at that time. Um, I, you know, we, we talked a lot. All right, I still got a lot of backlog to get through, and I'll, I'll update you guys on those adventures. Yep. But um, make make sure to follow Tone Deaf Network. Juan didn't drop his link, so I can't even tell you to go subscribe to him. I don't even know where his video links is at. Yeah. Um, you did tell him to drop. The make link. sure to go. Come on, Juan. I told him to drop the link. Juan. Hmm. Um, make sure to follow us on YouTube because we're actually going to be streaming on YouTube pretty soon in the future. More I don't updates know if it'll for be that. the next episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to make sure to update you guys here on the page and you guys will be able to follow all that. Um, but I am Baron J67. I'm T Jones. You guys can follow us everywhere at uh at XT Jones and at Baron J67. Yes, sir. YouTube and all of the above. Um, much love. Peace. Peace out.